Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Last week we worked on two digit by two digit multiplication with just two digit factors. This week we're going to work on three digit by two digit. It's not any, it's easy. If you can read your, if you know your one through nine, or you can read a multiplication chart, it's not that difficult. Because we're only multiplying one digit by one digit at a time. One digit by one digit at a time. Last week we did some in our journal that were two digit by two digit. Hopefully you wrote them all down and kept them because they may come in handy later today. We're going to start. If you know your sixes, if you know your sixes or you have a multiplication chart that will help you find your sixes, then this is easy. But first, we're going to estimate this because I want to get an idea of somewhere where my answer might be. Somewhere my, where my answer might be, somewhere around this. Now I can take my zeros and put them down because I'm multiplying four tens times four hundreds. And so that means these three zeros are going to come down. 4 times 4 is 16. So my answer should be somewhere near 16,000. Somewhere near 16,000. All right, so let's look at first my ones place. I have 6 ones times 9 ones. So what's 6 times 9? 54. 54. Uh -huh. yeah, I guess so. That means I have 54 ones, which means... Four ones and five tens. Four ones and five tens. Now I have six ones times two tens, which is? Twelve. Twelve plus five more, which is? Seventeen. Seventeen. Then I bring that up, because I have seventeen tens, which is the same as saying one hundred and seven tens. Now I have six ones times four hundreds, so what's six times four? 24. Plus one more? 25. 25. So what you got here was 429 times 6. 429 times 6. So if you can multiply by one digit, it's easy peasy, raw chicken squeezy. Now I'm done with these where I regrouped it, so I'm not, I don't want to get confused with that. Now I'm moving on to the tens place. The value of this 3 is 30. So this is like multiplying 429 times 30. That means I'm going to have to have a 0 in the ones place because if I put the but if I multiply something by 30, the 0 is automatically going to be in the ones place no matter what. And I need to start in my tens place. Now all I have to know is my multiples of 3. If I know my 3 multiplications, then we got this down, and it's real easy. So now I start. My next number is going to be in the tens place. So 3 times 9 is? 27. 27. 3 times 2 is? 6. Plus 2 is? 8. eight. 3 times 4 is? 12. 12. I add these two products together. This one was 429 times 30. So if I wanted to, I could break it into two separate problems. And you're going to learn other ways to do this multiplication with multi-digits today. Then I just add these products together. I get 4, I get 14. I get 8 and 6 is 14, 2, 4, 5. You should have gotten, if I did my math right, so check me. Yeah, I got 15,444, which is near my estimate. So as long as I did all my math correctly, then I'm good. Now this second one, 391 multiplied by 43, I could estimate this the same way, because this is close to 400, this is close to 40, 
And so I should get 16,000. My estimate should be somewhere in that area. Right, Joe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, Joe agrees with me. Joe knows. Just like Bo, Joe knows. Just like Joe, Bo knows. No, just like All right, so now, again, if I know my multiples of three, and I know my multiples of four, this is not a difficult problem. If I don't know them, I look at my multiplication chart. That is always a tool you can use. Well, let's see. Three times one is? Three. Three. So just three ones. I don't have to change any of that into tens. Three, one, three ones times nine tens is? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Or seven tens and two hundreds. Four times three is? Three times three. Uh, three times three is? Nine. Nine plus two more? Eleven. Eleven. So this right here was 391 times three. Now my four is in the tens place. My four is in the tens place. I'm glad you're all watching. So my, so this is actually 391 times 40 is what I'm actually doing here. So I got to start in my tens place, and I know my fours. Four times one is? Four. Four. No, he didn't. Four times nine is? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Four times three is? Twelve. Plus three? Twelve. Fifteen. 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 These. This is not difficult. If you get it into your head, you're just multiplying one time, one digit times one digit. And you realize you can use your multiplication chart. And you realize you're going to have examples. Okay, now we find the sum of these two products. We add these products together. We get 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 16,813. Yes. If I did my math right, if I didn't, let me know. I got it. For the love of Pete, doesn't matter how big it is, just concentrate one digit at a time. One digit at a time and you'll be fine. Boom. Shaka laka. Peace out. God bless. Love you. Do something kind today. Save the bees. Please subscribe so that I can get millions and millions of dollars and I'll buy everyone in the class a pencil.